goes again. One more time. If the ball passes this magnet, it gives a kick. And also, look over here. This also gets a little pulled. If you can see that. But the pulse is transferred three dimensional to all the three pendulums. It always pulls it out of the resting points. So it always goes back and forth. It always continues to run. While well, these pendulums. Swing back and forth. So his main point was, how will such a machine come to a rest? It is all earlier experiments with three pendulums, which are, were all synced via little springs, and the cow's movement. He found a way to that the three pendulums came never to a stop because they are coupled with springs and always pull them out of the um, so to say out of the resting points normally if you have a pendulum swinging back and forth it comes to a resting point and if they are connected via a spring this energy goes to the other pendulum and transfers the energy back and forth and if you have three pendulums which are chaotically um, coupled or, or where you have also I think in, in the footer you have also magnets beside there so um, so they are always pulling each other out of the resting points so here we go. So this trigger pulls is transferred via this spring system and levers. Also over here, have a look. You can see that. Okay. Okay. It's a real genuine machine. Okay, thank you for showing that to all the over Unity friends. No. And I really have to thank you that you have given us such a great demonstration over here and have taking your time to show us around and yeah okay uh, to all uh, these guys uh, go on your site yeah. go on go on <laughs> okay thanks a lot mr finstrud yeah okay